This is a drawing that I presented to you uh, I think the last meeting. <clears throat> but the bridge is right here. This is the Bethany Church. That's the drugstore on the right. And with the left turn stacking lane of considerable importance to them. This is the gateway, the bridge of the business district. And it's going to create an image for the community if we do it right. <clears throat> and uh, I, I think on the last drawing I gave you, I, I tried. I suggested putting the trees and the sidewalks, but our councilman, or I'm sorry, our engineer Joe mentioned that's very difficult because there's so many underground conduits and pipes underneath the sidewalk. So what I did was I created the same illusion with the new traditional street lights, the same type we have in the other part of the, in the central part of the business district, but I moved the trees three or four feet uh, inside the uh, uh, sidewalk. This would require the cooperation and approval, obviously, from the, from the church, the post office, and some of the other people there. And the final thing. Now, this is, a, this is an overhead view of uh, the central business district, again, the Bethany Church, the dark store, the post office. Excuse me. This is a more detailed drawing of the, the areas in the green show all of the green grass that exists on both sides of the street. Excuse me. And uh, it would, with the cooperation of the people along the street, we could have a spectacular uh, looking entrance to the community, especially with by uplighting the uh, trees, which is very dramatic with it. And finally, you said finally. <laughs> I didn't hear you. You said finally already. Right. But it was, <laughs> well, this is the second one. No, right. right. And uh, actual finally. This is a uh, this is a, a way of uplighting the trees. These are just some of the examples of the way they did it uh, in other communities. But there's a very expensive way of doing it. Here, here's a game. Uh, yeah, if they're on private property. <coughs> yeah, they would be. I'll, I'll, I'll argue about that later. I want to show you is if, uh, if you do decide to put in those traditional street lights by just putting uh, an electrical outlet somewhere near a tree that could be planted on the drugstore's property and the, the church's property, so you are allowed to uplight them. But by, but they, the way they used to do this, they used to bury these in the ground, uh, and as the trees grew, they became inconvenienced. The root system went up through the trees. But doing it like, like this, it's much cheaper, it's flexible, it's stable in the ground. And I just wanted to see uh, that idea. And I hope you pursue this with energy. Thank you, Bob. You know. <coughs> the idea might be a very spectacular entrance. and might connect nicely with our present streetscape in the heart of our business district because of the width issues. So, something to look at, something to think about. Uh, clearly, the, the involvement of the existing property owners would be the key to that because it's not something that the borough would be directly involved.